Hello everybody, I'm Nick and constantly I hear stupid things about C Sharp and .NET, usually by ignorant people who checked C Sharp 15, 20 years ago and they made their opinion on that and now they just go with it as if things don't change. So in this video I'm going to take a look at some of the dumbest things people have heard about C Sharp. And the dumbest thing that the creator of this post has heard is you're stuck with C Sharp because you can only code on Windows and the language is made only for Microsoft products which is dumb because we know that first you're not stuck with C Sharp. I don't understand what that even means. You can use other languages in C Sharp, but you can also use C Sharp in any operating system. So that point just does not stand, especially in 2024. And I don't get there. You can only use it for Microsoft products. Microsoft isn't really using C Sharp for everything internally anyway. They use Rust, they use C++, and when a product can afford to use C Sharp, they will also use C Sharp. And that of course comes from people who haven't kept up with C Sharp. And I understand this because I have also made my opinion on a matter based on something I saw five, 10 years ago. But if I wanna reiterate that opinion, I will go and check up on that language and see is that opinion still valid? And if it's not, I'm just not gonna say anything because I have nothing to offer. Then another one is the thing everyone keeps telling me that worries me a bit because I'm new to this is if you get into C Sharp, you can only really work in enterprise. It's not good for startups or small, mid-sized apps. And the person has heard this a lot. And I'll be honest, you're not stuck in enterprise and you can't really only work on enterprise, but enterprise is the biggest user of C Sharp. That's not a dumb thing to say on its own. And it's not really false. The stats do kind of speak for themselves, but this does not mean that there are no good startups or mid-sized companies that use C Sharp. They totally exist. And with .NET Core, and ever since .NET Core, they have been using it more and more and more. In fact, the company I was working for was a startup. We were using C Sharp. Now, were we using it because we just happened to be using it in the very beginning and then sort of kept upgrading to latest and latest and latest version. Yeah, sure, but it was a startup and we kept using it all the way until we got pretty big. So can you only work in enterprise? Not really, but the truth is startups have more choice than ever nowadays to use any language and any framework anywhere. So you're not going to choose C Sharp over some other language if you think that other language is just better for what you're gonna go with. And I think one of the problems with C Sharp is that Microsoft is really pushing it to be that thing that can do everything. And nothing speaks more about this than the what is .NET landing page, because you can see we can do web, mobile, desktop, Microsoft is cloud, machine learning, game development, IoT. And I get it, you want to have like a generalist language to do all of that, but by listing everything like this as if they're equal, you're downplaying the language capabilities on the areas where it's really, really good. For example, web, microservices, even desktop and cloud. C Sharp is amazing, but mobile, I don't know, IoT, sure, it can do those things, but by having every tile be the same in this page, you give the same amount of significance and capability to the person reading this, which is just not true. C Sharp is not that great at everything, but it is amazing in some of those things. So it does kind of make C Sharp look worse in the eyes of someone who wants to be more targeted with the technology they're choosing. Now, before I move on, I'd like to let you know that we just launched a brand new course on Dome Train called From Zero to Hero Messaging in .NET with Mass Transit. And it's an amazing six and a half hour course by Rina Skurtu, who will teach you everything you need to know about queues, pub sub, messages, but also show you how you can use it with Mass Transit, which is the most popular library for doing messaging in .NET by far. Messaging exists in basically every single application, and if you join a company, it is very, very likely they will be using Mass Transit, so you must know both concepts very, very well. And Irina won't only teach you the basics, but she will also go into very, very advanced production-ready patterns, such as the Outbox pattern, the Saga pattern, and so on. The concept in the library is a must-know for every single developer, and to celebrate the launch, the first 400 of you can use discount code TRANSIT20 at checkout to get 20% off 
Now back to the video. And then as an IT and DevOps consultant with 20 plus years of experience, I can tell you that C Sharp and .NET are popular in large enterprise companies because they offer a clear roadmap and a rich ecosystem. That's very true. Everything in tech comes down to integration. I agree. And that's largely an application as well, right? All we do is we take input, we do something, and then we have output. Any app works that way. So I totally get that. A great application isn't worth much if the company can't easily integrate with HR, sales, IT, marketing, and accounting applications. Microsoft managed to do a great job allowing seamless integration between .NET and other applications widely used by many companies. I agree. Now, that's not really a dumb thing to hear about C Sharp. This is just positive feedback. Uh, then we have the classic one. My friends that code in Java really hate the simplicity of C Sharp because Java needs the public started void main string array args even though I think they removed this recently. And the feedback is, it's stupid syntactic sugar and Indian shit code, they say. That's racist. Wow. Having thousands of annotations and configs instead. Yeah, Java, I don't know why you need to have a factory for a factory. And then you have consumer by consumer supplier. Like Java's support for functional constructs is terrible in my opinion. And even though they are trying to copy C Sharp largely nowadays, and of course C Sharp is copying other languages, so it is this sort of loop of everyone copying each other. Uh, I do think that C Sharp is significantly better designed than Java nowadays, even though it did start as Microsoft Java. We can't lie about that. We can't use C Sharp because Microsoft always breaks it. So we'll stick to Delphi. What the hell? Also, C Sharp has been one of the best languages in terms of not breaking when a new version is released. The C Sharp team has been very, very cautious with every new feature. In fact, to the point where I'm like, can you just break this so you can get a better feature instead of just trying to work around the problem? So I really don't understand this one. I was told by a senior dev slash team lead recently that a link first or default was faster than a dictionary index for a lookup. How can you reason that this is the case? First or default will literally go through every item in the collection to find the first thing that matches it, which is very, very expensive. While an index lookup will use a hash of that key to take you directly to that dictionary value. It's a completely different operation. Like you're comparing something that's constant time with something that isn't, you're not going to win. How could someone possibly believe this? Yeah, I totally agree. Like it doesn't make any sense. How can you be a senior dev or team lead and believe that? How detached that people don't like to use it. It's good for what it does. It isn't going to hit performance of C++, but who cares? It's amazing otherwise. Well, C Sharp is pretty fast. Now, don't take a look at those performance benchmarks at Tech Empowered, at least not the raw text ones, because what is written to hit that performance isn't really C Sharp. It might as well be C. But C Sharp is a, a pretty performant language overall. It's not Rust, it's not C++, but it's pretty good. And yeah, Rust is not that fun to write. From C Sharp developers, so friendly fire, C Sharp devs can't be productive without Visual Studio. Well, allow me to disagree with JetBrains Rider and Visual Studio Code as well, which you can use in any ID and be productive. You don't need Visual Studio. Visual Studio Code with the C Sharp dev kit or JetBrains Rider equally productive. And I'm sure there's something in Vim that also works. It's outside of my expertise, so I'm not going to talk about that. So those are all the comments I want to go through in this video. Many, many dumb things. Not as dumb as I expected. It's just the usual same old, same old. It's not cross-platform. It's Microsoft Java. It's the same thing. So what I want you to do is go down in the comments and write what is the most stupid thing you've heard about C Sharp and .NET. I'm really, really curious. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep coding.